good evening welcome to math so today i am going to teach you uh, we are going to take the questions from the exemplar book that is grade 6 integer chapter and i am with ella so let's do some of the questions so these are the first four things that i asked ella to write and she has already written this if you are watching this video please do write all these things you can pause the video and just watch it out so i am going to ask you a question ella since we have written all this yeah notebook so i just am checking your iq level just now you have written can you tell me what is the basic difference between a non negative integer and a positive integer uh, the positive integers are just natural numbers whereas the non negative integers are whole numbers so i should give a clap for you you have done a wonderful answer given a very wonderful answer great dear so the non negative integers include zero as well <coughs> because zero is also a negative integer but when we speak about positive integers the zero is not there so this is whole numbers this is natural number it looks like you already knew it you don't need to write it great so integers on the number line can be represented as follows i will be quick on this all the positive integers lie to the right of zero so these are one word answer okay this will be fill in the blanks dash of zero dash integer so you have to be uh, you have to be very careful while understanding all this so I'm, i will be quick on this okay all the positive integers lie to the right of zero and the negative integers to the left of zero on the number line negative integers left of zero all non negative integers are the same as whole numbers and hence all the operations on them are done as in the case of whole numbers to add two negative integers we add the corresponding positive integers and retain the negative sign with the sum to add a positive integer and a negative integer we ignore the signs and subtract the integer with the smaller numerical value from the integer with the larger numerical value and take the sign of the larger number i have already taught you two integers whose sum is zero are called additive inverse of each other they are also the negative of each other all right additive inverse of an integer is obtained by changing the sign of the integer for example the additive inverse of 5 is minus 5 and that of minus 3 is 3 to subtract an integer from a given integer we add the additive inverse of that number there are two ways of saying it if i say one way is i i can say 5 minus 3 the other way of saying it is i can say 5 plus minus 3 so the same thing has been said in two ways we are paraphrasing here 5 minus 3 means 3 subtracted from 5 and 5 plus minus 3 means negative of 3 is added to 5 okay negative of 3 is added to 5 so these are the two things that we say the same operation is being happening to compare two integers on the number line we locate their positions on the number line in fact which is on the right side is always greater so now we will look at some examples I think the question is quite visible to you you can see from the uh, there is a basic uh, what we say watermark here but I think that it is visible to you question can you read the question okay fine so I want you to read the question and just do this is a random test I am taking for you okay so if you are having any doubt you can ask me test means you have to read it you have to solve it and for every question I will be giving you some time I will just check it out how much time you are taking okay no helping nothing so time starts now for every question i'm going to write the time as well let's see how many question you are going to solve in 45 minutes for the first ones two second ones first okay every positive integer is greater than zero true every integer is either positive or negative very good false so hardly took 10 seconds wonderful dear
so okay this question is not of your quality so let's see okay represent the following integers with the proper sign plus 3 very good minus 500 wonderful so 10 seconds very good <clears throat> so for, okay so now this is your understanding find the sum of minus 2 and minus 3 Minus two means you are going back. Minus three again, three steps back, so it is minus five. You know all this, so let's come to the questions directly. Okay, so first I am going to give you first five questions. Let us see how many time, how much time you take. So all the five questions, okay? Just tell me the together answer for all the five questions when you are done with five. Don't say me single single answer, okay? So five questions. If you take two minutes, it's fine. Okay. So I have the answers. answers. Wonderful. So forty-two seconds. Um, the first one is B. Okay. Um, second one is A. Great. Third one is a uh, C. Yes, yeah, C. Wonderful. Fourth one is A. Okay. Fifth one is uh, D. D. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> between, beta. It is asking you between. Yeah, sir. So zero, one, two, three, four. these are five correct wonderful so 43 seconds you have took hmm question dang se padho well done so so i'm going to give you next five questions here <laughs> all the questions are readable so time starts now sir done wonderful so again you took 45 seconds tell me the answer for the first one uh, b wonderful second one is d okay Uh, eight one is B. B. Not B. Bravo. Bravo or Delta? Ah, uh, to the right of zero. Okay. See, to not to get confused, you can see you can see the phonetic language. The phonetic language A stands for Alpha, B stands for Bravo, C stands for Charlie, D stands for Delta. You can also say Bravo, Delta, Charlie, Alpha. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so on the number line, the integer five is located to the right of zero. Okay. Yes. For the ninth one. Uh, Bravo. Bravo. So which of the following pair of integers the first integer is not the left of the second integer? Okay. Uh, A. The integer with the negative sign is always less than. great are you enjoying these questions yeah 
<laughs> your tone did not is not matching your sentence <laughs> i think you are getting bored this is uh, easy okay so don't worry the level of the question will be changed don't worry to that see it is looking easier to you because you know it it may be look <laughs> looked tougher to someone else I'm just checking your accuracy. That's done. Yeah. Okay. Tell me. Uh, A. C. Uh, B. Breath. Uh, A and A How? Uh, because for example, on the number line, you're on a number and you want to subtract. <coughs> okay. So take numbers minus and three, minus, oh minus three and minus six. Take these two numbers. When a negative integer is subtracted from another negative integer. You said A, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, leave it So, okay. What is the option? D. So yeah. these are the traps. These are the traps. Okay, be careful. See, you saved your ten seconds, but you lost your <laughs> one marks. Okay, you are going at a great speed, but with the speed you need to have an accuracy as well. Mm -hmm. So please recheck. Okay, please recheck your answers. The questions may look similar, simple, but it is not as that simple. We have done 17 questions till now. Three more questions. So now after 17 questions, the question involves true and false. Okay. So you have to read, you have to answer it. Okay. Start. So the 17th and 16th question is very blurred. To me. Okay, their blood. Now, can you see that? Yes, sir, but then the options are blocked now. Okay, yeah, I can see. Yes, sir, done. Okay. Tell me. Uh, the first one is C. True only when the integer is positive. And then next one is A. And the rest three are false. For 17th, you said A. Yes. What is the rise in temperature? 10 degrees. What is the rise in temperature here? Four degrees. It is negative four. Is it blur? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. You're not your mistake. My mistake. This is negative four. Okay. Yeah. I know if you could have seen that, then you could have answered it correctly. That's okay. Not your problem. Okay. Coming to the question number 18, 19, and 20. First one is false. Okay. Second one is false. And third one is false. I think all of them are false. Okay. Like 18, 19, 20. <laughs> the sum of all the integers between minus 5 and minus 1 is minus 6. 
so it is false minus 4 great so it is minus 9 <coughs> So now this time I am going to give you 7 questions, ok? You are going at a very great speed. You are on the 27th question in 23rd minute. So done. Tell me. Uh, first one is false. Second one is true. Third one is false. <coughs> true. 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 And false. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Minus 5 is less than both the numbers. So you have done up to 27th, right? Can you see? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay, great. Done, sir. Okay. Um, false. Okay. True. Zero is less than every positive integer. Okay. True. Okay. True. 31 and 32 is true. Okay. Uh, false. Okay. False. Okay. True. Okay. True. Very good. Now there are questions involving fill in the blanks. Okay. After three more questions. So I'm going to give you 12 questions now. <clears throat> Can you see all these questions? Uh yes, sir. Yeah, I get it. So I can't see the last question, like what I can't, is there a minus sign there or not, I can't see that. Yes, so which question? 49. 49 is there minus 3, 4, dash minus 3, 4, 5, 6 is equal to minus 8, 9, 1, 0. Oh, okay. So yes, I'm done. Okay. First, uh, 37. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. This is true. Okay. So, 38 is false. Okay. Uh, 39 is false. 40 is left. Okay. Forty one is right. 
माइनस फोर्टीन वन जीरो नाइन ग्रेट माइनस फोर्टीन Eighteen. Okay, <clears throat> it might be not clear to you. It is one thirty dear, not one eighty. Okay. Did you consider so this one eighty? No, no, but okay, it looks okay. One minute. I said, yeah, yeah, okay, yes, yeah, sir, saw so that. I said eighteen. Eighteen means one eight eight or eight zero eighty. One eight. How you got eighteen, dear? That's what. One minute. Yeah, one minute. Let me see. See, hundred and eleven minus eleven is going to be hundred. So hundred plus thirty will be hundred and thirty. Okay, fine. Sure. Okay. Hmm. What about the next one? Uh, minus one seventy. Very good. And then the last one, uh, I think it's four thousand four hundred and sixty-four. Okay, so how I am going to do this? So I know that both the numbers will be negative. Okay, I am just helping you out. How to do these questions quickly? You can think both the numbers is negative because it is going to be more negative. First, this has to become into your mind. Now you have to make six zero. How you will make with the help of four? Okay. Now yes. you have to make five one. So five plus one six. Six plus five is eleven. So this will be five. Now this is one. Four plus one five. Five plus four is nine. And three. How three will become eight? So with the help of this five, it is going to be minus four minus five four five four. Are you getting the same answer? No, I didn't get the same answer. I think you saw the numbers correctly. It was minus eight nine one zero and minus three four five six. Okay, so I saw the right number, except I got four four six four. No, dear. Okay, the first no, I know that the first one is five. But then, okay. I don't know how I got six. Okay, I'll see later. Understood? Yes. Yeah, We've done fifty questions, forty-nine questions. Okay. So now you have to <clears throat> tell me the signs greater than, smaller than, equal to. Easy questions. You can do it. So you do I have, have to write the question? Okay. Can you see the questions? Yes. Okay. Just wait. Okay. Average time. I am taking it out. Okay. Fine. So done. Tell me. Uh. So how how should I say? It? You will Maybe. say you have to say with respect to the left side. You will say left side is smaller than greater than equal to. Okay, fine that way. Okay, uh, right side is greater than the left side, and then left side is greater. Uh, right side is greater. Right side is greater. Left side is greater. Left side is greater. Equal to. Left side is greater, and left side is greater. Well done.
now you write it in your notebook and then tell me the answer okay means you are already doing it yes sir. but right now you cannot look and just tell me the answer you so you have to write in your notebook Done, sir. Well done. <clears throat> okay, tell me for the first one. Uh, first one, sorry. Uh, a is minus five. Okay. Twenty. B. Sorry, no, no. So uh, B is minus twenty-five. Hmm. C is twenty. Okay. D is minus sixty. Well done. Minus eight, minus seven, zero, zero. Okay. Uh, Sixty-one is A is plus two hundred. Okay. My, uh, minus one hundred. Okay. Plus ten. Wonderful. Zero. Okay. And one sixty two A is increase in size. Loss of rupees ten. Okay. So, uh, B success. Sorry. Okay. Uh, D is one thousand B C. Uh, drop in water level. Like, Good. Six sixty kilometer north. Okay. Uh, ten meter below danger mark of Ganga. Uh, twenty meter above danger mark. And then lastly, is losing by a margin of two thousand. <coughs> Great. now the question is going to be tougher okay now it is going to challenge you so be careful okay. <laughs> question number 64 to 70 63 wait just wait for 63 i want you to first Focus on these questions. Is it visible? Uh, yes. Yeah, I can. Now is it no, visible? Sir. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Thanks. Done? Yeah. <laughs> really? Amazing. <laughs> uh, 64 is 0 plus minus 1. Wait, wait, wait. Zero. Plus uh, minus 1 plus minus 2. Plus minus three plus nine. Where are other numbers? <clears throat> Understand the question, dear. If you are being given three dots, means this series is continued. Oh, okay. So, to avoid the okay. space, they have written like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, that you can do it later on. Come to the question number 65. Uh, 0. What about 66? Minus 2, 2, minus 5, 5, wait, wait. 0. No, no, no. Write 6 distinct integers whose sum is 7. Yes, I am just saying those integers. What are those integers? Okay, minus 2. Plus two, 
I'm just saying that. But this is equal to zero, dear. Yes, I know this. They're asking for six six integers, right? But the sum has to be seven, dear. This number which is okay, fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Minus two plus two. Okay. Uh, plus minus five. Plus five minus five. Yeah. Plus zero. Plus seven. Okay. Sixty-seven is um two. Two. Write the integer which is four more than its additive inverse. Okay. Question number sixty-eight. Minus one. Sixty nine. Um, uh, minus one and minus two. Minus one plus minus. Two. Okay. Seventy right. is okay. Seventy. Yes. Seventy is uh two plus minus four. Or two minus four. No. Yeah, two plus minus. Oops. Okay. Yeah, two plus. Uh, so, so you can say two and negative four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The last one, I don't think it's right. No, no, no. Uh, the seventieth. Yeah, so it's not right. Yeah. This is not correct. Yeah, it's not. It's not fair. Yeah. Write two distinct integers whose sum is equal to one of the integers. Yes, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. No? Uh -huh. Eight minus four. Okay, no, not sum. Okay. Okay, four. And negative. You can say four and zero. Okay. Their sum is equal to one of the integers four. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Or zero. Okay. Do the question number sixty. You want to try question number twenty-four? Oh yeah. Sixty-four. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So you can just try at your home. Okay. I will give you more time for that. Let's see if there is any other question to be discussed. So, so you are almost done. Track. Okay, four more than five. Fine, so there are only 10 more questions left. So what I'll, I'm also going to send the PDF of this chapter to you. Okay? I have it. Okay, you had it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so your mom sent it to you? Yeah. Fine. So in the next class, I want you to please let me know which chapter you want to discuss. Tell me. Uh, so you will tell later on? Yes, I'll tell you next class. No, before the next class, so that I can yeah. drop all the questions, okay? okay? At least tell me by today before sleeping or tomorrow. Tell me. Yeah, okay, can we do algebra? Yes, we can do algebra. Okay. Okay, we'll start with algebra, okay? So today I am going to end this class right now, sign off from Sudhanshu Pandey.